Merci! Oh. Nee! What's the crack, lads? We're back with another episode of Dream Team Chronicles. We're into Division 3. Crazy, crazy game. The last uh, episode that we had in the, the second game. We have gone back to the five at the back, lads. Now, right, we're not going to be playing five at the back so much. We are actually going to be playing this, a 3-4-3. Three, three. Um, we're just going to slightly modify this because of Messi's inclusion here now. So Goretzka is going to come here. And then we're going to have this like this in case that people are man-marking me. So... We still have a very kind of a similar team uh, to the five, but obviously it's just going to be slightly modified uh, from what we're doing. So when we have the ball, we're going to be playing this or playing the sub tactic, and we're going to be switching every now and again. It'll pop up depending on how I edit the video. You'll probably see it. Um, but yeah, look, it's a strong team. I think my biggest problem at the moment is the lack of uh, like the lack of wit that I'm getting and actually doing something with it. So we're going to have a look at that. Um, we're also going to try a team of long ball uh, counter as well. We can't really play it with this squad at the moment because the players aren't good enough and they're not linked in, but we are going to keep playing out wide. Uh, we're going to keep training Messi up and testing out Messi, the epic version of Messi. Um, but yeah, let's go from there and hopefully we can remain in Division 3 at the very least and I will see you guys at kickoff. All right, lads, we're going to stick with the white jerseys. Why is Neymar number two? I thought I switched that up. Let's check this guy's squad. So we are playing the five at the back. Messi's fully up. He's going to be SS out there. Ronaldinho is fully up as well, but we'll keep him on the bench. Van Dijk is going to come in for Puyol. And we also might give a start to... No, we'll leave it. We'll leave it, lads. We'll leave it. We'll leave everything as is. Romario and Messi up top. Uh, let me see. This guy's team is rocking. 4 one 2 3. Man, what a team. Holy moly, what a team. Mataus, Beckham, Mbappe... 100 overall and Messi. Four 100 overalls. One, two, three 99 overalls. <laughs> oh my God, man. That's some team. That is a sick, sick team, man. That's an unbelievable squad. Oh, man. I tried to... I tried to... Dub, double... Double... Uh, double dummy that and it didn't work. Not to worry, though. Got the space again. Neymar's going to have a curl shot, lads. He loves a good curl shot. Eats him alive. Oh! Oh, that's a great save from Donna. Yeah, I just got caught lack. I was asleep there, lads. I oh, know, it's the wrong angle. Beckham Bar will deal with that quite easily. This guy's playing very... He's playing the, the very... Um, yeah, he's trying them low-driven passes. And this is why you need to have five at the back sometimes. Like if I'm gonna if I'm gonna concede like that, fair enough. Um, that's more of the game kind of screwing you than than him actually beating you. So I'll live with that. If he's the, this does, he's asleep. He's not. Neymar. I have to score one of them, man. Jesus, that's a desperate one. But I'm gonna do a video on. Like, I'm going to do a video on five at the back and uh, I'll show you why I use it and why I think it's super, super good. He's going to play wide. He's playing all the predictable passing. It's just about me stopping him. <laughs> oh, it's Carlos Boy. Loads of space on that flank, lads, but Messi might not be the man for it. I'll test him though. Romario. Oh, I went low. The rebound, Messi. Oh. I deliberately went low just to get the shot out of my feet so quick. And I guarantee you he's finding frustrating to play against the five at the back. The attendance for this match Because he doesn't know where I'm going to pass. Let's see! Oh! Me!
Rolling Roberto. Oh, good defending from Beckham Bar. I love Beckham Bar, you know that. to take a gamble or two now against me. There we go. That's beautiful. Cut inside. Neymar's got the pace. Back post. Great ball. What a goal. Messi. Lovely. Ah, oh, lads, that's why we keep our Mario on, in fairness. That's why we keep our Mario on. Oh. So you just don't get that out of Morientes, lads. That's unbelievable. Rolled him. Double touch. Bang, you're away. Come on. Delighted with that one, lads. That was a tough game against a really good opponent. But the five at the back, lads. It just suits my play style. Look how much possession I control. Look how many shots I have. You don't need to play defensive if you're playing five at the back. It just completely takes away the lack of AI control that's there and the lack of mistakes that the AI make. Trust me, lads, if you're struggling with defending and you're struggling with conceding goals, try the five at the back. I can't recommend it highly enough. We are going to go straight into another match to round off this episode. And uh, yeah, hopefully then we're going to give you a couple of tips towards the end of it. Actually... Yeah, no, I will talk about the five at the back in this video because I know a lot of people will ask me, right? So I'm going to leave that video kind of with a lot of those highlights in. When you're playing a five at the back, you'll see there, right? The amount of space you get with Neymar and Messi. Now I'm using this version of Messi. He's 89 overall. We're going to train him up now in a minute. Um, I've kind of seen enough of him to test him. Like he scored a good goal the last game that we played. Um, or did he score? I think he scored. Um, or he was he was good anyway. But like the, the thing with this is, right, if you're playing a five at the back, right, with these three guys here, like a three-man center mid or three-man center back and then a left and a right fullback, right, you need to have two very key things. The first thing you need to have is an absolute quality box-to-box -box player, right? This formation doesn't really work if you were to switch out maybe, um, you know, put in like Modric, right? Or put in somebody like Kevin De Bruyne, right, for example. Like, you'll still get the passing, you'll still get all of that. I don't even think it really works if you've got Paddy V in there. If you've got a two-man DMF in here, you could slightly change that and modify that. If you wanted to have this, right, I think what you're giving up here with Patrick Vieira is the offensive awareness, right? And the offensive awareness of Makalele. You've got two very similar players that, yes, defensively, they're going to be excellent. You've got 80 there. You've got 86 tackling, 87 aggression, and 91 defensive engagement. And the likes of Makalele, you've got speed, acceleration, you've got defensive awareness, tackling, defensive engagement, excellent stats, right? But for playing three at the back, it's massively overkill because you've no one in this area of the pitch here, right? So while your main range of focus is going to be out wide and cutting in on the wing, and anytime you're in trouble, you're going to be rotating back to one of these boys or else you're going to be going to go out wide and come in short with Messi or whatever to get the ball or Neymar to collect the ball. This is overkill, right? So if you are going to be having somebody like Goretzka in there, right, as a CMF, and Goretzka's attack offensive awareness is going to be 78, 79, 80, um, you're going to be able to cover more ground going forward with the ball. But you need to be able to manually do runs like L1 on the PS5. It's L1 when you're holding a pass, L1 and X. And you're moving with the ball. You're going forward with the ball. Goretzka is still going to give you defensive abilities there. Like he's got awareness, his stamina, his tackling is all excellent. His uh, player skills are excellent as well. Um, as you can see there, he's got one touch pass and interception and fighting spirit. He doesn't have blocker. But you're going to be basically using Makalele as just a stopper, right? So he's going to act as just kind of your distributor between your center backs. And then Goretzka is going to act as like one of these guys here with these guys, whoever he's going to bring into the play, whether it's Kimmich, Carlos, or else Neymar, Messi, or Romario. Now, you could probably have a more well-rounded like uh, striker up front like Son because he's a bit taller, he's good in the air. Well, he's a little bit better in the air. Um, 
in terms of heading, even though his stats are terrible there, or you could have somebody like Cristiano Ronaldo or somebody like that. But I definitely think having an all-rounder like Romario with the pace, Mbappe would probably be a better option there as well if you have Mbappe. I just love Romario. I think he's the best in the game, bar none. Um, and I even kind of messed up that build of Romario. Do you know what I mean? Like his, his, his dribbling is low. His speed is low because I had to pump in so many points um, into his player. In, or I didn't pump in any points into his play style proficiency. I kind of messed up that card a little bit. But if you are using this five at the back, it doesn't automatically mean that you're going to just sit back and go full blue. You can still be very attacking because you're going to be playing with this sub tactic more often than not. Whenever I get a chance, that's what I'm going to probably use the most. So you're overloading the left midfield with Carlos. You're overloading the right midfield with Kimmich. And then you've got your three-man midfielder here that's going to play like a very, very, very good triangle. And then obviously Romario is going to be your main goal scorer. You've still got the stability at the back that if your AI doesn't track the run with one of your defenders, you're going to have two more that's backing you up and then you can get back with Goretzka or Makalele. I think with the problem with if you are playing one of my secondary formations, if you're playing a four, right? If you're playing this formation here, a 4-1-4-1, four, one, four, one, right? The problem is, is that if the AI screws you with Rudiger, you've only got one man back with Varane, right? You've only got one man back. Even though we're playing three center backs here in this formation, you're going to lose a little bit of that width going forward. So yeah, definitely recommend five at the back, lads. I definitely think it's a formation that when people come up against five at the back, right? They automatically think that you're going to be a defensive player. And you saw in that last game, we had 17 shots, 11 on target. And I could have scored maybe three or four more goals if I was a little bit better in front of goal. You're not being a defensive player by playing five at the back. You know, sometimes when I switch to this tactic here, you can go extremely aggressive with it. You're still going to have your solidity at the back, but you're going to be getting forward with Carlos and Kimmich as really, really out wide players that are going to be just bombarding forward. And most of the chances I get are from that. So that's one thing. I am going to be covering that in another video as well for beginners because I know a lot of people ask me about it. I think five at the back is a very, very, very good formation to play. But don't play defensively because if you play defensively, you're going to struggle to score goals. You're even going to struggle to, to, to shoot on target because you're not going to get that many chances with Neymar and Messi cutting in from the left if you don't have runners into the box like Goretzka. So yeah, I usually try attack with five and defend with five. You saw Makalele get a few pops on goal there. So it doesn't really matter what formation that you play as long as you're kind of being very aggressive when you do have the ball. So that is just a couple of tips for me, lads. One episode there um, done and dusted with that match. We will get another episode going quite soon because we're enjoying the gameplay again. Um, and yeah, I will train up Messi as well when I get a bit of a, a better feel for him. I'm tempted to use... See, I don't think you get enough chances, man, on target. Like, if you look at my Neymar here, his finishing is 80 and his curl is 87. So I don't think I need to go higher than that for Messi. Do you know what I mean? I don't, need a, I don't think I need higher than 80 and 87 curl. He's already got 85 finishing. So I might just go to 85 curl, which is six points into shooting. That'll bring his finishing up to 91. And then obviously we're going to have the other stats to get up as well. I'm not too concerned about the passing. I'm more concerned about Messi's speed and kick and uh, acceleration. That's kind of what I want him as because I will eventually probably play him as an AMF. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon with another episode. Hope you're enjoying these series and I will talk to you in a bit.